Hi, welcome, Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you a little secret, a trick on how to bypass Windows 11 without signing into the Microsoft account. So assuming that this is your brand new computer, you just bought it and you're all excited to go ahead and set it up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to trick the computer by telling the computer, hey, I'm connected to the network. I'm connected to the home Wi-Fi or I'm connected to the hardwired cable here, plug it into the network. And as soon as they try to ask you to sign in to that Microsoft account or create a Microsoft account, that is where you disconnect that cable or maybe you run to your network, turn off your router, turn off your modem, make sure your house has no Wi-Fi and you just trick the computer and says, the internet is lost, there's no connection then therefore the computer would say well nothing i can do i'll walk you through the next page without signing into the microsoft account so this is exactly what i'm going to teach you how to do and continue watching that video all right so this is the windows 11 sign up page so when you first got a computer it would ask you is this the right region or the country i'm in united states oh, so go ahead and say yes keyboard layout will be using us yes do i want to add a second keyboard layout no i'll skip it so at this page here is trying to look for the wi-fi so this laptop here has the ethernet cable to be plugged in i'll be using the ethernet method if you have a desktop you can follow along with the ethernet method now, if you have a laptop that doesn't have the port, but only the Wi-Fi, you can do the Wi-Fi method by simply selecting the, your home Wi-Fi, assuming this is your home Wi-Fi at the very top, and click connect and put in the password, okay? So let me go along with the Ethernet for now. So I just plug it into your, my right here, connect it to my computer. So it says network is connected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click next. Of course the computer was going to go through the updates and trying to do what is good for me, meaning that bringing all the updates and whatnot. So it says please review the license agreement. Uh, click accept. At this point here, I think we are ready to pull the trigger. So right here, it asked me to sign into the Microsoft account. If you have already get one, please put in your email address and a password to sign in. If you do not have one Microsoft account, please create one for yourself. Now again, remember the trick I was telling you at the beginning of the video, I'm going to trick the computer by removing that cable or running to your router, disconnecting the Wi-Fi. Remember, you connected to the Wi-Fi earlier. Now, how do you stop the Wi-Fi? Is to turn off your router. Once you have done that, let's go ahead and click back. See if we can bypass it. There you go. So we just check the windows and says, I don't have internet, I can't sign in. Bring me to the next page is to set up your computer locally, standalone without signing into the Microsoft account. Now, please enter the name. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say owner. For now, I'm just going to put owner. Click next. Password, I can skip it because I don't need a password. If you want, put yourself a password to it. Uh, for me, just I don't need a password. Click next. Accept. So this one here is just pretty much the Acer is asking you to um, register the computer. Um, you can skip it by click, click, clicking next. Um, here is other policy. You have to agree or not agree. I'm just going to click next, not to agree. I just want to bring to a page where, you know, it welcomes me.
Just give it a few more minutes. Right, we are almost there so there you have it Windows 11 is all set up it doesn't log into the Microsoft account this is a standalone directly to your computer and I do not have a password for that now if you want to connect yourself back to the to the internet to the real world so make sure you plug in the internet back to your computer either desktop or laptop now if your Wi-Fi connected now run back to your router make sure you turn the switch back on make sure the router is going back on with the Wi-Fi therefore the computer would picks up the internet and get yourself back to the real world all right now if you find this video is helpful please give me a like and subscribe to the channel and I really appreciate you for doing that um, hopefully this little trick helps you and comment below if you have any question thanks for watching bye now